We've had quite a lot to do with the biennial over the past few years, as we have with other arts organisations in Liverpool. Um, Paul de Mella, who um, I know you've, you've spoken to as well, sits on our advisory board and has them for some years. And a number of years ago, we did with them a project with an American artist called Martha Rosler, um, the Martha Rosler Library, which we hosted in our old building in, in Hope Street. When uh, I, think, I think the biennial had been uh, coveting this building for some, for some time, um, and when they uh, discovered that we'd uh, purchased it, they, they approached us about the possibility of staging the biennial exhibition here. Um, and immediately that seemed a really uh, exciting, exciting project. I think, you know, th th to a great extent, we've, th the art school over the last few years has developed very much uh, in, in uh, has developed very much a kind of a, a way of thinking about teaching art and design that is not to do with being removed, but very much embedded within uh, the industries, the companies, the organizations that produce art in the, in, in the real world. And the Biennial has been a very uh, strong and significant partner for us over the years. So it was very, um, it, it seemed a very exciting thing to do to cement that relationship, if you like, through uh, uh, co-hosting the, you know, the Biennial this year. Um, and so, you know, when they became, when they were interested, we, you know, we looked into it and, and you know, had various discussions with, uh, with the Vice-Chancellor, with the senior management team of the university. Um, did some proposals, did some costings, and, and discovered eventually that there was support in the university to do it, and, and, and we, we, you know, we were able to go, to go ahead, ahead with it. And um, what's, what's been great, actually, is it, I suppose the initial contact came through the School of Art and Design, but, but as it's progressed, it's become very much an LJMU project overall, and I think it's you know, something that has been taken on and embraced by uh, you know, many different sides of the university, which, which for us within the School of Art and Design is great. It's also kind of facilitated links and you know, established different kind of contacts with other areas. In, in economic terms, you know, the, the Biennial's evaluation every year demonstrates the numbers of people that come through, and, and, and that's incredibly impressive. And, and you know, those people, of course, also you know, spend money in the city. So I think economically it makes a very powerful difference. Um, I suppose in some ways I'm, I've, I've always been a bit more interested in, in the difference that it makes in terms of the city's identity. It is you know, the biennial of, 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 of contemporary art in the UK. Um, it's a biennial that's recognised internationally as being one of the, you know, certainly within the, the top kind of, you know, four or five international biennials. And so, you know, wherever you, you go in the world, Liverpool's a famous city anyway, but it's, uh, it's, 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 it's interesting that it also becomes a famous city for its, 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 art, its art offer. Um, I think... Um, it, something about biennials anywhere, but, but in Liverpool particularly, and I, I've experienced this also in the Venice Biennial, is that it allows you to, f to, to kind of get to know a city. Of course, of course you appreciate the art that you see in the Biennial, but it also allows you to get to know a city and get to explore it, get to see buildings, get to see places that you wouldn't necessarily as a visitor have the opportunity to access. Um, and I think, I think that that's a very, very strong kind of element of the Biennial in, in Liverpool. I think it's, it's, you know, it's, I suppose there's two things. One, it's, it's the way in which it puts it on an international art map, an international cultural map, um, but also what it kind of what it does for people who live here, and in, in, in terms of identifying with a city that that, it, that is that is very strong in terms of in terms of arts um, and, uh, and and culture. I mean, it's not it's not exactly the same as an Olympic Games, of course, but but, but there is something of that uh, in, in in the biennial festival. I think what art does for education as a subject, only within school and then university, is that it, it, it's a subject that is that is very much about, people often talk about art and creativity, but, but I, don't, I don't think art has a stranglehold on create, creativity. I think engineers are creative, scientists are creative, lots of people are creative. Perhaps what art does facilitate more than, more than many other subjects is, is a sense of reflection. Um, and, um, and I think that, that that's very, very important in, in terms of what it does for education, in terms of what it might do for a city, I think a reflective city, a city that has the capacity and the will uh, and the wherewithal to reflect upon itself and somehow represent itself, which is what art does, um, is a city that is genuine, a city that is authentic, and a city that's prepared to uh, somehow look at itself. Um, and I think that kind of that that sort of capacity for reflection is is is, is very significantly what art brings.